if you uh, look at the movie, The Pirate. Uh, uh, well, every pirate I've seen in the movie was white. And all of them had a patch and a peg leg. And they showed this movie here, and this brother ain't got no... <laughs> they, they won't even let you, even when you acting like what they say the pirate was, you mm -hmm. know. But my problem with the pirate was that whole thing over there in Africa. I said, wait, something ain't right about this. Something is not right about this. What is it? Uh, oh, you're talking about Captain Phillips. Yeah. But I'm talking about before. Okay. When it first hit. Mm -hmm. That little country, them black folk came out of, they don't have five rowboats. Okay? Mm -hmm. But they're going to attack the mightiest navies in the world? Come on, y'all. Huh? Are you crazy? They ain't got five rowboats. Huh? Then almost they make a movie out of it. That's how they just keep putting it in, putting it in. Then they make you think it's going to get a time. One of the top actors to do it is bullshit. Huh? One of them tankers had 100 million gallons of oil. So I'm on TV doing one of them TV shows, and I said, wait a minute. I can handle that for you. Give it to them. Ain't a black man on this planet that know how to sell a hundred million gallons of oil that's been stolen. Huh? <laughs> so then all at once you, you sit and you look, and then it stopped. It stopped. Hmm? Mm -hmm. that's right. right there, where that was coming from, there's one of the most evil, vicious Navy bases in the history of the planet. They do stuff that would make Hitler look like Santa Claus. Diego Garcia. So uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Diego Garcia. That's where that first Malaysian plane is. That's where it landed. Mm -hmm. It had four scientists on it. Huh? Twenty scientists, but four had filed for patents. It was Malaysia, but they worked out of Austin, Texas, for Texas Instrument. And the ones behind that plane was Texas Instrument, the government, and Boeing, who made the plane. And everybody is stupid enough to believe that a plane almost a block long can just disappear. With the electronics we have, all the technology we have, the next generation of cars will come out, there'll be no driver. So when I was talking to this scientist about it, I said, well, that paddy wagons too. He said, yeah, why you ask that? I said, well, there's just more room to put riders. <laughs> yeah. No, that's where we are. About 10 years ago, I'm with a scientist, and he said to me, he said, you know, the smart car, when it come out, there can be no more automobile fatalities. I said, why you want to mess with me, man? They've been had that. Why you think airplanes don't run into one another? Huh? I used to do that when I was a child. I used to play with them little, uh, what's those? Magnets. Magnets. Yeah. And if you don't put them right, they can't hit. That's all you, that's all y'all done. And they want to come convince me that, that y'all breathing. You're not. Just been here. Okay? And so when you stop and think about, you know, the, the, the stuff. So we got four of those top scientists. Mm -hmm. that had filed for patents worth $400 billion. Okay? So if one, two, three of us mm -hmm. and your brother, four, we filed for patents, and then here's a friend of y'all who's with us, so five of us filed for patents. If we die before the patent is granted, then your brother, who wasn't on the plane with us, he owns them all. Mm. So those four scientists and the fifth person was the Carlisle Group. Mm. They own them all now. The patent was granted three days after the plane was missing. Wow. <laughs> okay. And so what I'm saying is this is a this is game, and if you can't follow that thread, then you don't. You don't see it. That's crazy. What were the patents for? Huh? What were the patents for? Well, the patents was, you heard people talk about they're going to 
one day inject you and can control you. Well, these guys come up with something they don't have to inject it. They just put it in this room and you come in and you smell it. That's, that's what they were for. Okay. And that's why they killed them. That's they might have not killed them. They might just let them sit there and die. I never give my character a lecture or a question. I just do what I want to do, how I want to do it. Okay, so... Some people might come and say, gee, that's very nice. That's very... Someone may help me say, that's very dumb. I was very stupid, or this is such and such. Fine. I don't know. I didn't ask you, did I? No, I didn't. Hey, let you do it, I'll bet you. Hmm? You couldn't expect uh, black filmmakers to, to start from zero and then do war and peace. You know, you couldn't expect that. Um, some of the films were surprisingly good. Uh, as a, as a, my only fault I had with with the films is was the reason that Hollywood was making them.